Welcome back to WCCF Tech TV, everyone. This is Keith once again. And a rumor recently surfaced involving the LinkedIn page of an AMD technical engineer that listed the company working on a GDDR6 memory controller. We've reached out to some people and can confirm that AMD is indeed working on the GDDR6 standard, actively using it in future graphics cards. As for the question that I'm sure everyone will ask next, no, AMD will be sticking to HBM2 for its next generation graphics cards in 2018 aka Navi. The leak originally stemmed from a picture of a LinkedIn profile showing an AMD engineer listing the GDDR6 memory controller technology in his portfolio. This is usually a fairly obvious way to confirm a leak, but the profile in question was nowhere to be found. This is why we decided to reach out to sources familiar with the matter ourselves and we can confirm that AMD is indeed working on a GDDR6 memory technology and will be adopting it. The next obvious question comes when and where will we see it used? To that, the only reply that we got was that AMD will still be sticking with HBM technology and high-end graphics cards in 2018. Samsung, Micron, SK Hynix all have roadmaps that show their GPU screws rolling out by the end of 2017 or early 2018. In either case, it looks like the video card manufacturer will have access to the incredibly fast memory standard from Q1 2018. Since pricing will almost certainly be expensive in the beginning, and it remains to be seen just how it fares in comparison with HBM. Samsung, Micron, and SK Hynix have all officially stated that they will be using and producing the fastest and lowest power DRAM for next generation products. Samsung has currently listed a 16 gigabyte GDDR6 DRAM in their portfolio, but that can be expanded upon in the future when, when production hits full swing. With a transfer rate of 16 gigabits per second, the DRAM will be able to pump out over 64 gigabytes per second bandwidth per chip. The memory will also operate at just 1.35 volt. Compared to current generation GDDR5 RAM, we're looking at both increased bandwidth and transfer speeds, 8 gigabits per second versus 16 gigabits per second, at a lower power consumption from 1.5 volts down to 1.35 volts. The specifications can easily be compared to current DRAM standards. We know that GDDR5 can reach up to 9 gigabits per second as NVIDIA launched their GTX 1060 with faster memory variant, the practical limit of where the memory architecture can go. Then we have GDDR5X or G5X, a refinement implementation of the GDDR5 standards that is better in every aspect. The GDDR5X operates at much faster speeds and has practically hit 16 gigabits per second as confirmed by Micron themselves. While G5X can hit the same speeds as GDDR6, the latter comes with better optimizations higher and higher densities. And Samsung is claiming to be an upgrade over G5X. We're looking at speeds of 12 to 14 gigabits per second becoming the standard in the graphics industry while 16 gigabits per second will ship out in the high performance sector. There's also up to 32 gigabyte density support while G5X max out at 16. Well, interesting stuff coming in the memory sides of graphics cards. Well, that's all we have for today. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV, and we'll catch you all in the next video.